Today we're going to see if our AI is able to air out sound in the level so we can go to that location. So we're gonna just put the debug on so the AI can see, we can see what the AI is doing. So if I shoot here, you shall see a yellow circle around me showing that the AI will go investigate that location. So I press F8, the AI go to this location. It's gonna wait a certain amount of time and gonna go back on random patrol, okay? So if I go here and shoot, the AI go to this location, but if I shoot again, it's gonna go to the new location. You see, so it's going back to the location, it saw me, green sphere, so it's chasing me. So we're gonna see exactly how we can make sound in the game and having our AI go to this uh, location. First, we're going to our AI NPC. And in the event graph here, we have the perception for the site. So we're gonna make that a little bit clearer, like easier to read. So we're gonna select all of it without this one here. So we're gonna take the node and everything else. And we're just gonna click on any nodes and just gonna collapse this to function, okay? going to bring that function right close here. I'm going to rename that function. I'm going to call this the site sense. I'm going to double click on it and we're going to modify a little bit before doing our earring. So we're going to click on the node here. I'm going to remove this one here. I'm just going to click those two. We're going to rename this one actor. So we have actor and stimulus. So instead of having our actor connected here, we can just search for actor. And if we go all the way down, we should have access to get actor. Just plug our actor right there. And here we're breaking our stimulus, but instead we could just remove this and we can search for our stimulus. We're gonna get our stimulus. If you click here on the name, you can split the structure and it's gonna give you access to the same value. So we're gonna connect the stimulus up here for the boolean and on the bottom here as well and here we're just going to make sure that we're connected the stimulus location so the first one right up here and we're going to go all the way back to our first branch and if it's not true well we're just going to do a return value just put your return value right here and we can compile you're going to have an error go back to our event graph it's just that you have to click on your new function and just do a refresh, so refresh node. And if you compile, you have no more issue. So we're gonna do our earring now. So we're gonna create that in a function. So it's just clack, clack. Just click and create a new function. We're gonna call that earring sense. And in the earring sense, we're gonna do our little logic to make sure our AI can go to the location of the sound. So from the earring sense here, we're just going to get our sense class for stimulus. And we're going to connect our stimulus right there. And from that, we're going to search for equal. And we're going to search for AI earring, which is the first one right here. So here, AI sense earring. We're going to drag from it and we're going to put that in a branch. And we're going to connect the condition to this. So if it's false, we're going to do the return node. And if it's true, we're going to continue and go to our blackboard. So we're going to search for the blackboard. And we're going to go all the way down and take the AI under AI get blackboard. So now we can set our value. The value that we want to set is the vector because we want our AI to go to a certain location so exactly where it's going to hear the sound so it's why we take the vector one the key name well we're going to take the literal name and the name here need to be the same as your blackboard so if you go to blackboard target location this need to be exactly this so you can just copy that name if you wish and put it right down here and here is going to be the location for our stimulus so the ai perception right here so we can search for stimulus and obviously we're going to take the last one get stimulus so we can drive from that and just break the stimulus which is going to give us access to the value that we need 
and we're going to take our vector to the stimulus right there and we can compile so now we're all done with this so we're earring it's going to make sure that it's equal to the earring that we hear if it's true we're going to set the value so our vector value so this one here to the location that we have to go and we can compile this and we're good so if we go back to event graph so after sense here you can just take our earring sense take that plug it right there and the stimulus will be connected right there and we can compile that so now we have our earring here so in the ai npc we're going to have to add the stimulus so we're going to click on ai perception and here you can see that we have the site but we need to add a new one so click on the first here the sense config just click to add a new one and we're going to select the earring configuration and now we can expand this this is going to be a range that you want the color that you want when you do the debug and the detection we're going to make sure we check those three boxes and we can compile so now our ai has access to earring as well now we're going to make our way to our behavior tree and we're going to modify the random patrol here so we're just going to take our random patrol move it on the side and we're going to rename it so instead of random patrol we're going to call that random patrol slash our earring sequence and we're going to drag from it and we're going to do a new composite and it's going to be a selector because we can only do once at a time and we're going to drag that to our random patrol the random patrol is going to be the last thing that we do after that we're referring that there's no sound for the ai to go so we're going to drag from this and we're going to search for sequence just get the sequence we're going to click on the sequence we're going to add the decorator blackboard and we're going to click on the blackboard and it's going to be unchanged value and it's going to be self it's going to be a set and what's going to be the key that we need well we need the target location and we can save that so we have our target location so we're good with this so the sequence here is not going to be just sequence so we're going to rename this for earring sequence and from that here well if it's true our ai is going to move to the location and when it's at the location it's going to wait and here we're going to clear the value so First, we're going to start with move. We want to move where? Well, we want to move to the location. So we're going to go our blackboard key here. We're going to make sure that we check this box and that we have target location because we want to move to this value that we set up on our earring sense, right? If you remember right here. So we want to move to this value. So it's going to be right there. We're going to wait five seconds so we can five seconds or three seconds with a deviation of one so it's going to play between one and two i believe something around this so you can play with those numbers just to see how it's going to be random uh, and here we're going to have to create a new task because we have to clear the target value when after you wait for example you wait two to three seconds we have to clear that value so we're going to do a new task and we're just going to call that clear bb value and in here it's going to be very simple we're going to search for or even receive execute ai and we're going to drive from that we're just going to clear our blackboard value and we're going to put our finish execute we're going to make sure it's true and here we have to connect our blackboard key however we have to create it first so we're going to go on variable we're going to call that blackboard key and on the boolean here we can just search for our blackboard i'm going to take the first one the key selector and we can compile that and now we can just get it and put it to the key so when we compile there was no more error so this is clearing our value to nothing right so that's exactly what we want otherwise if we reset to zero zero the ai is going to go to that location so we don't want the ai to go to 
any further location after resetting uh, after resetting here so we're going to drive from that we're going to take our task and we're going to take clear or value we're going to select all of that do a little comment so earring sequence move to sounds wait and clear target location and here is going to be our random patrol so we can just select this do a comment and call that random patrol so we know what it's doing for us and we can save this now we have only one thing to do it's to be able to tell the game for each action that we do it's doing a sound so for an example if we shoot with our weapon it's doing a sound but the game doesn't know until we tell him that there's a sound now our ai is all set up to go towards this sound but there's nothing to tell us as a player when we do an action a sound need to be created so we're going to do exactly this we're going to go back to our first person character and here under our fire logic fire action we're going to go to our fire optional and we're just going to create an event after our dispatcher and we're going to call that the uh, event make nose so uh, report nose sorry so it's report nose event so every time that we're going to fire, it's going to call and say that there's a noise that needs to be generated. So from the nose itself, we're going to get our actor location. Like so, we're going to move that a little bit like this. And our investigator will be get our player pound. Like this and the return value right there to the target as well. So now when we shoot, it should generate a sound and the AI will go towards this sound. So we're going to go to our first person map. We're going to play, take a gun. We're going to click on the key for debug. We have our AI press four. So as you can see here, the green circle say that it's seeing us. So it's following us. So we're going to run away so it can lose sight of us. Now the AI is over there. Doesn't know where we are. We are. So if I shoot, you can see that the AI is going to go to the sound, investigating the sound. If it's there, it's going to wait one, two, three seconds, and it's going to go back to a random patrol. Okay. Actually, I think our AI is stuck there. So if we shoot, it's going to go to the sound. So you can see if I press F8, the AI go to the sound, investigate the sound has to wait and should be back on patrol however you can see that is not going back on patrol so we have to find why so maybe there is just a little mistake on our behavior tree so if we go back to our behavior tree oh the clear blackboard here we have to clear our value remember we're saying that we if we don't clear the value it's gonna stay there and we cannot put zero 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 as a location because the high will try to go to this location so on our clear value here on our task, the blackboard key, we need to make sure that we can exit this value. So just click on exit, compile. And now if we go back to our board, we have access to the blackboard key. And we don't want self, we want to clear the target location. So we're gonna click on target location. And now if we do play, everything should be resolved. So we're gonna put the debug the AI saw us four so we can see the spheres and now if I shoot the AI should go to this location wait a little bit and go back on random patrol hey voila he's going back on random patrol so if I shoot he's gonna go to this location but the time you go there if you hear something else he's gonna clear the last one to go to the new one so you can see that everything seems to work perfectly for us. So I guess I will catch you on the other video and see if we can improve our system for AI. So we'll catch you in the next one.